Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Spire of the Dragon. Today we're moving on. We're, we finished up with the Peacekeepers, so we'll be taking the Balloonist to the Magic Crafters world. Which is probably one of the most interesting worlds of Spire of the Dragon. Magic Crafters is, um, has quite a few sneaky uh, enemy types that are rather annoying to take care of. And they mock you, which isn't very nice. <laughs> but of course when you achieve sweet victory, that victory is a lot sweeter for the sake of the fact that these guys were pissing you off and when you finally do kill them, it's a good feeling. I don't really know what I'm talking about. So of course today, following the usual routine, uh, we'll be doing the homeworld and the flight level. These guys are bitches. Ah, damn it. Oh, I actually got that guy. Whoa, surprise. Usually I never manage to get that uh, wizard who was standing there. Totally didn't even notice that I got him. Ah. That was a fail. Turn, you bastard. I'm already in a kind of agitated mood. A little. It's not been a very good day uh, for me. Had a whole bunch of stuff go wrong this morning, and then I was trying to record some of my Dead Space Let's Play, and uh, some stupid notification popped up about an update and chucked me out of Dead Space, and yeah, <laughs> essentially cut me off in the middle of recording a session and I have to go back and do that again later. So I decided to do some Spyro because Spyro is nice and straightforward. Except for these thieves. These, this particular thief is a little bit more difficult. Just because of the angle on which he runs. But yeah, this is where we uh, get introduced to the supercharge ramp. A favoured staple of the Spyro franchise. When you s and it allows you to smash through those annoying boxes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only got one of them, but that's okay. So yeah, here's where the flight level is. I know this is actually the first flight level I came across, since uh, the flight levels from Peacekeepers and... Uh, damn, I totally can't remember what the first home level is called. That's silly. The Artisans? Artisans, I believe. Um, they're actually, those flight levels are located in hidden locations. So are not always the uh, first flight level that you will encounter if you're playing this through blindly. So logically that was the first flight level I ever played. Now, I gotta get that chest. That's a bit a bit tricky. Might take me a few goes. 
requires a uh, a decent supercharge run. Here we go. And fail. Boom. Gotcha. Damn wizards. <laughs> I really don't like these lightning guys. They are very annoying to it. Their attacks are very annoying to dodge. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Give me your butterfly sheep thing. Now what have I actually missed? Well, I'm not ready to go to the Beastmakers because I haven't done anything in this level. Um, but yeah, that is... Uh, that's the case with the Spire, Spire of the Want. Oh my god, my brain has totally been destroyed today. What tension does to the mind? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, Gurk. But yeah, if you meticulously go through levels like I am doing, um, it's very easy to uh, progress through the homeworlds. I know where I have to go now. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, no. I have to go from at the top. Come on, I've already collected all the enough eggs and plenty of treasure by the time I reached each world. And of course, I don't have the key. I am stupid. Where the hell is the key at, though? Ah, damn, I'm actually stumped for the first time in this Let's Play. Whoa, shite. Key, 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 key. Where did I leave the key? How do you get over there? Where is over there, to be precise? Oh, I know what I have to do. A little bit of a sneaky hidden area. <laughs> there we go. Ah, no. Itchy nose, damn it. Okay, should be sorted now. We'll be uh, moving on fairly rapidly. And there you have it. All 300 gems from the Magic Crafters homeworld. Simple enough. Now, time to hit the Crystal Flight, I believe. Yes. So this being the first uh, first flight level I ever did, let's see how I can actually do today. If I am good enough to prevail. Probably not, since it's been a while. Oh, that's awkward.
Yep, this is not going well. Okay, let's try this again. I totally can't remember the path to this. I mean, it's the logical rings then. Uh, arches. I'm not sure if there's actually a better way of doing it. I don't know where the planes actually start, so that's not good. Ah, oh, planes. Here we go. This might be something slightly more productive. Yes, this seems slightly more logical. There we go. That's the solution we were looking for. And there you have it, Crystal Flight. And I think I'll call it there for that session. I was partially considering doing another level today, but ah, hate how you always land on that thing coming out of there. Um, yeah, I don't feel up to doing another level just now because I'm pretty agitated and on edge, and I can't really focus at this point. So I'll cut it off there and. When I come back with Spyro, we'll be doing the Magic Crafters levels, which are interesting. And I had another word that I wanted to say, but screw it, I've forgotten. <laughs> Until next time, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys later.